Good evening. Welcome to Foxcroft Academy for tonight's varsity action between the Foxcroft Academy Ponies and the visiting Presque Isle Wildcats. My name is Zach White. I'm joined by Chris Lesnar. We've got Mark Callen producing and doing the camera work for tonight's action. Chris, we are at the final games of the regular season here, the very last day that uh, teams are allowed to play basketball. We've got a doubleheader for you tonight. Boys basketball and the women's side to follow in what should be some fun competitive basketball games. Absolutely. We might have the uh, latest start. We might have the last team in the state going on when the girls game starts later on, which is kind of exciting. Absolutely. And this is all leading up to the tournament, which all of these teams are going to be involved in. We'll talk about the girls game later on once we get that, to that point. A lot riding on that game as well. For the boys' action, Chris, while we have a second, and thank you again for joining us on the Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union pregame show. Maybe not as much on stake at stake in terms of seeding, but this is the time of the year where you need to be playing your best basketball. Yeah, and I think that's what it's all about tonight. Um, there are some scenarios that doesn't have anything to do with these teams out here tonight where Foxcroft can be their first bit to six beginning. Looks like Crest Valve pretty much here to seven Yeah, but with that said, when seeding maybe doesn't hinge on this game. Pride, momentum, energy, tempo, all of those things, a key factor in winning basketball late into the year. Who's going to get the quality win tonight to keep that momentum going? Two very well coached teams. Going to be a fun competition out here tonight. And as I said, there will be the women's game to follow. A little bit of a later start for us here. There was a schedule change due to uh, weather received up north. That's why we're having a little bit of a later start. But we thank you for joining us. At this time, we're going to send it to a quick commercial break and be back with you in a moment for more of the Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union pregame show. Busy with places to go, things to do, people to see. Let Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union make managing your money easy with mobile services, bill pay, Apple pay, mobile deposit, and more. We're as close as your phone. Now serving all of Piscataquis, Penobscot, and Somerset counties. Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union. Personal service, shared value. MHFCU.com. Ames Chiropractic Wellness Center is a practice that specializes in treating a variety of different conditions. We treat patients daily who suffer from chronic lower back and neck pain, headaches, repetitive stress disorders, work injuries, sports injuries, and more. Dr. Rick and our entire team at Ames Chiropractic are excited to welcome you to our brand new Bangor office located at 43 Longview Drive, right behind Olive Garden. Ames Chiropractic Wellness Center, helping you to naturally feel and be your very best. To Rouse Garage in Dover Foxtrot to discover the difference between walking into a local dealership versus a big dealer that uses high pressure tactics the second you drive onto the lot. From selling you a vehicle to servicing your vehicle, Rouse Garage will treat you like you are the only customer. While you're there, check out their state-of-the-art automatic car wash. Riles Garage, call them at 207-564-3434 or visit them at 191 East Main Street in Dover Foxcroft, Maine. We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the MPA, are the 49,000 high school sports and performing arts students in Maine. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, debate team members, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, officials, and adjudicators. We stand for the drummers, football players, and actors. We stand for the golfers, singers, and swimmers. We stand as the national leader and advocate for these essential activities and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org. Sluggers Baseball and Softball Training offers a variety of classes and leagues to expose you to a wider view of the game. Sluggers leads the way in baseball and softball training with industry-leading technology such as hit tracks that combines a traditional batting cage experience with modern analytics all from the virtual diamond of your favorite ballpark. Check out Sluggers today on Facebook, schedule online, or call 207-951-2250 to start your journey with the best training staff around. 
excellence starts at Sluggers. Call and stop by Kimball Insurance for all your insurance needs. Whether it be auto, home, farm, business, life, or health insurance, we have you covered. Our agents are ready to serve you and help you with your needs. Visit us at Kimball Insurance at 91 Main Street in Sangerville, Maine, online at KimballInsuranceAgency.com, or visit us on Facebook to see what we can do for you. Kimball's, your insurance is our business. Brothers Meats is a family-owned and operated business located in Guilford, Maine. We operate a local retail meat market along with a slaughterhouse, smokehouse, and processing plants. Herring Brothers has all sorts of meats from already pre-cut all the way to cutting it right on the spot for you. Also, while you're there, don't forget to try their wicked good beef jerky that is made right in Guilford, Maine. Call them at 207-876-4395 or visit them at 346 Water Street Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Welcome back here to Foxcroft Academy, and thank you for rejoining us on the Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union pregame show. At this time, Chris is going to let you know about a few additional sponsors that have helped make all of these broadcasts free and accessible for everyone at home. Black Bear Crane is a family-owned and operated crane and ring service provider located in Maine. Covering the state of Maine with cranes from 27 to 140 pounds. Road trucks, leaking back to the field, and recap direction. Modular home and communication equipment call 977 there today. If you need a vehicle, contact Sonny, Ryan, Sean, or Ryan at Hartley. Easy finance and available. Great selection of new use. Call 207 368 5751. Maine Mapping Company provides all your land surveying and mapping needs throughout the state of Maine. Centrally located in Dexter. Maine Mapping provides boundary, topographic, and aerial surveys, as well as construction survey services statewide. Visit us at www.mainemappingco.com or check out our Facebook page to get more information or request a quote. We do want to remind you, Maine Mapping Companies, anytime you see a replay, that is sponsored by Maine Mapping Company. So thank you to them and thank you to all the sponsors that have helped make these broadcasts free and accessible for everyone at home. At this time, let's jump into the X's and O's a little bit more here, Chris. Final game of the regular season for either side. Final regular season games of the year. Foxtrot Academy, they're coming into this one 12 and 5. Prescott, they're coming in at 9 and 8. But two teams that when you start to look at the averages, play similar. Foxtrot Academy, they're averaging around 58.1 points per game. They give up around 47.8. Presque Isle, they average 51.3 points per game, while they're allowing a little bit more at 50.6. But overall, they're in the same realm, they're in the same range in Class B this year. Highly competitive, and I expect we're gonna see a highly competitive game out here tonight. Absolutely, both teams coming off huge wins. Of course, Bostroff beat um, Dexter for the second time. Uh, I believe those were only a few Dexter losses on the regular season. Both the quality Class C team they beat. And, um, Another Class B team that's doing well, Caribou, and Prescott's coming off a win over them the other night. So. Yeah, so wins all over the place in Class B, highly competitive. Um, having seen these ponies a little bit more, we've had some of their games this week, as Chris, you mentioned a moment ago. We saw them play against Dexter in what was a wildly popular game, and the crowd they really filled in. A lot of fun here. Tonight's final regular season action. Both sides are looking for that final tune-up looking to be playing at a high level and for the ponies some of the players i expect to see help them get there there's some of the names we've seen all season it's richard crocker Oliveira. you can go down the list uh, they have quite a few guys that make some impacts but as the season's gone on it's been those names yeah absolutely and kate crocker had a big game here the other night against dexter 22 points but he was 14 out of 15 from the line including 10 for 10 in the fourth quarter so he came out big and on the other side for press style uh malachi cummings Everybody knows he's a quality player in the Big East. He's done it all year. He's averaging nearly 21 points a game. But they also have some other pieces, like Jack Fox, Dawson Bullier, and uh, Brady Cassoni that has also tipped in. Yeah, so a lot of names doing a lot of positive things all over the place. At this time, we're going to send it to one more brief commercial break. Rejoin you for the starting lineups and national anthem here at Fox Drop the Cap. Rouse Garage in Dover Falkdrop to discover the difference between walking into a local dealership versus a big dealer that uses high pressure tactics the second you drive onto the lot. From selling you a vehicle to servicing your vehicle, Rouse Garage will treat you like you are the only customer. 
While you're there, check out their state-of-the-art automatic car wash. Riles Garage, call them at 207-564-3434 or visit them at 191 East Main Street in Dover Foxcroft, Maine. Busy with places to go, things to do, people to see. Let Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union make managing your money easy with mobile services, bill pay, Apple Pay, mobile deposit, and more. We're as close as your phone. Now serving all of Piscataquis, Penobscot, and Somerset counties. Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union. Personal service, shared value. MHFCU.com. Welcome back here to Foxcroft Academy as we wrap up the Maine Highlands Federal Credit Union pregame show in intense anticipation of tonight's varsity action. Doubleheader tonight, Chris. This one being the first on the boys' side. Girls will follow. Tentative scheduled start around 7.15, but it will be after this game. Potential that the pregame there will be a bit shorter as we are doing the games back-to-back. -back. We do plan to have post-game interviews for both games. So the pregame of the next game may be a bit shorter, but we've got a whole basketball game to get to before that one, Chris. Yeah, and they're, um, again, as you said, here in the pregame show, uh, play their best basketball league in the prelim games next week, which they'll both be at home for. Absolutely, and at this time, we're going to turn it over to the Foxcroft public address announcer and give you the starting lineups for tonight's action. Foxcroft Academy and Presque Isle are both proud members of the Big East Basketball Conference for a value sportsmanship. Please share positively for all the players involved. We hope you enjoyed the next game. Now let's be the starters first for the visiting Wildcats. At guard, sophomore number five, Brent Greenlaw. At guard, senior number 14, Dawson Bilodeau. At guard, senior number 30, Malachi Cummings. At forward, junior number 34, Jack Buck. And at forward, a senior number 44, Jack Hallett. Pascal is coached by Dylan Kingsbury, and he's assisted by Jonah Hudson and Michael Boone. And now the starting lines for your Fox of the Academy Ponies. At guard, a 5'10 junior, number three, Jaden Richard. At the other guard, a 6'10 senior, number 23, Caden Crocker. At forward, a 5'10 senior, number 14, Cameron Chase. At the other forward, a 6'2 senior, number 31, Adam Connor. Then at center for the ponies, a 6 4 senior number 34, Fernando Oliveira. The ponies are coached by Tobin Huff and he's assisted by Ryan Durkin and Drew Denker. The officials for today's game are Mr. Brooks and Mr. Prescott. We now ask that you all please rise from where we have for playing our national anthem by the Fox Shop Academy Band under the direction of Mr. Josh Guthrie. And there you have it, the starting lineups, National Anthem. Only thing left to do, jump ball and get this game underway today, Chris. Yeah, it should be exciting. Uh, nice crowd on hand. A um, little bit smaller than what you guys had a little bit earlier in the week, but still a nice crowd in here tonight. And Prescott's made the trip down here south to play the Ponies. 
Should be a good one indeed. As we get this one underway. It's going to be Cummings and Oliveira on the jump ball here. Controlled by the Wildcats. Ponies coming out in their traditional man-to-man. -man. Crocker. He's going to be on Cummings to start this one. Cummings to the rim. Off the mark. Gets his own miss. Off the mark on the second as well. But an additional rebound there. That one was brought down initially by Hallett. Oh, nice fake and going to the rim. Layup off the mark. So a few opportunities before Chase brought that one down for the Ponies. 3-2 zone for the Wildcats to start their action tonight on the defensive end. Knocked out of play. It's going to stay Pony basketball. See if they stick with the zone on the inbounds play. Looks like they will with the Ponies. Shot put up by Connor. Off the mark, rebounded by Chase on the interior. Smart play, throwing that off the leg of a Wildcat. It's going to stay Pony basketball. Jaden Richard, he's going to be taking it underneath for the Ponies. Still trying to work through this zone. Extended pressure but still in this zone. To Crocker, Crocker, he can shoot it from anywhere inside the half court. Dangerous all over the place. Pony's gonna have the opportunity to really swing the ball against the zone, but well defended and it ends off, off a foot of a Wildcat there and it's gonna stay Pony basketball. 6.49 early into this first quarter. And now the pressure extends for the Wildcats. It's Bollier at the top of this zone. Trying to make things happen for Presque Isle early on. Ponies look a little out of sorts as they're trying to work through this zone, Chris. Being very patient. Connor, he can shoot it, but that one off the mark, rebounded by Bollier. Wildcats running in transition now. Ponies sticking with that man-to-man -man pressure. Greenlaw now has Connor on him. Going to the rim. Up and in for two. On now has Connor on him. Going to the rim. That's how the scoring gets started in tonight's action. Ponies still looking for their first score of the evening. Richard, he's going to take a look at a three. Off the mark. Strong rebound inside. That brought down by Buck. Cummings, dangerous all over the place. Pulls up from the free throw line for two. And that's a player that knows how to score. Malachi Cummings, a name you'll hear quite a bit on this broadcast. Crocker takes a look at a three off the mark. Oliveira, the rebound on the inside. Chris, that is the advantage so to speak of a zone for an offense more opportunities to get offensive rebounds there you see a zone paying off Cummings in transition to the rim for two there you see a zone paying off Cummings in transition to the early timeout taken by coach Toby Nelson and the ponies we're going to take it with a, with them and rejoin you in a moment Brothers Meats is a family owned and operated business located in Guilford, Maine. We operate a local retail meat market along with a slaughterhouse, smokehouse, and processing plants. Herring Brothers has all sorts of meats from already pre-cut all the way to cutting it right on the spot for you. Also, while you're there, don't forget to try their wicked good beef jerky that is made right in Guilford, Maine. Call them at 207-876-4395 or visit them at 346 Water Street Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Welcome back to Foxcroft Academies. Following that timeout taken by Coach Toby Nelson and the Ponies. Still trying to contend with this zone that's been giving them trouble early on. Also want to thank Maine Mapping Company, replay sponsor of the game. All replays brought to you by Maine Mapping Company. Pony still dealing with this pressure. That was Richard looking inside, but it was tipped off a pony. It's going to, I mean, tipped off a Wildcat, rather. It's going to stay Pony basketball. 
Played into Connor, back to the corner and Richard. Richard very good at going to the rim. Nice step in front by Buck. Charge taken, going the other way. Great start for Prescott. It, zone has been uh, very successful so far and there's another turnover for the Ponies and ball goes back to Prescott. First foul of the ball game so far in this one. And it's been all Wildcats, 6-0 early on, 4.33 remaining in this opening quarter of action. Cummings going to the rim, nice offensive board, back up and in by Buck. That's Jack Buck on the follow for the easy two. Now another steal in transition is Greenlaw, Greenlaw for an easy two. Now another steal in transition is Greenlaw, Greenlaw for an easy two. That replay brought to you courtesy of Maine Mapping Company. Another time out on the court. We're going to take it with you and rejoin you in a moment. Ames Chiropractic Wellness Center is a practice that specializes in treating a variety of different conditions. We treat patients daily who suffer from chronic lower back and neck pain, headaches, repetitive stress disorders, work injuries, sports injuries, and more. Dr. Rick and our entire team at Ames Chiropractic are excited to welcome you to our brand new Bangor office located at 43 Longview Drive right behind Olive Garden. Ames Chiropractic Wellness Center, helping you to naturally feel and be your very best. Welcome back here to Fox Grouse Academy. Coach Toby Nelson taking two timeouts early on into this first quarter of action, Chris. 10-0 run to start this ball game by the Wildcats. Substitution yeah. made as well, Chris, just why Rayfield checked in for the Ponies. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what they do here. That's the second timeout that Toby Nelson's taken here in this first quarter, and let's see what kind of adjustments they have made this time. And you know, sometimes you can fall into that final regular season game lull. I mean, the Ponies, they feel like they know where they're at in terms of tournament seeding, but you want to have that momentum and that positive energy heading into the cross center in the tournament. And right now, that ball almost turned over. Now it is all that positive energy and momentum in the favor of Presque Isle. Back to the rim. That's going to be too many steps and a travel headed the other way. Nice move, just one step too many. As Oliveira playing it into Richard. Point guard that does so many positive things for this Pony Squad, looking to get the offense going. He's going to take a look at a three off the mark. Battle for the rebound brought down by Adam Connor. Rayfield takes a look. Nothing falling early on for the Ponies. Rebound, Buck. Now it's Cummings in transition. Gets the rim. Nice fight by Cummings. Going to be rewarded with a chance at the line. Cummings looking for point number five and number six here as he steps to the line with the uh, first foul shots of the game here. Off on the first. Ivan Mudichev now checking in for the Ponies, replacing Fernando Oliveira. Second shot from the free throw line for Cummings is good. He's got five on the game. Pass inside, that's the Crocker on the wing, I should say. Rayfield now shot fake. Pass out to Connor. Connor, clean look, just nothing falling for the Pony so far. Rebound, Hallett. Cummings again. 11-0 lead. Wildcats have been all over the glass so far, Zach. It's been a lot of one and duns. Malachi Cummings, clean look, clean make. It's been a lot of one and duns. Malachi Cummings, there by Malachi Cummings, who almost gets a steal. Knocked out of play, 14-0. 2.40 remaining in this opening quarter. Nice token pressure by Bollier on the perimeter. You know, it's a zone defense, Chris, but it is a very active zone defense as we see another turn over here. Malachi Cummings transition, pass fake, takes a shot. Off the mark, Wyatt Rayfield comes away with it. Crocker now. Takes it to the rim for two. Crocker now. Takes it to the rim for two. And that might have to be the way the Ponies get their offense going is in transition opportunities. The way that this Wildcats defense has been able to settle in and create problems. 
give a ton of credit to them. Richard trying to create some problems of his own right there. Knocked out of play, going to stay Wildcat ball. Like uh, number 20, uh, Brady Costoni checking in for the Wildcats. Also a sub coming in, Jackson Smith for the Ponies. Jackson Smith, another one that can provide some spark off the bench for this Foxcroft squad. And often does when called upon. That ball tipped away by Ivan Mudachev. Battle for it up top. That's Cummings that comes away with it. Knocked out of his arms by Crocker. Great job staying with it by the Wildcats. Coach Kingsbury calling for the offense to settle down just a bit. Done a great like a rugby style there for about a 10, 15 seconds. Now Cummings all the way to the rim. A lot of contact, no call. Cummings, physical play, layup inside. So strong on the interior. Tough player to stop when he gets momentum. Richard now fouled, but I believe it was on the pass. So that's going to stay Pony Basketball. Going to be taken out underneath. Ten points early here in this first quarter for Malachi Cummings. Prolific score he is as Crocker. He pulls up from the elbow. Off the mark. Rebound brought down by Buck. 105 remaining in this opening quarter of action. Cummings. Pass out. Clean look. Off the mark on that trip down by Brady Costoni, but a great rebound by Hallett. And a foul by the Ponies. The rebounding, I don't have it in my scorebook officially, but the rebounding has to be in favor of the Wildcats early on here with the effort they've put out on the floor so far. Yeah, it was 10 to four early for Fred Style. And Crocker, he comes away as that ball was tipped on the inbounds play. But great transition defense by the Wildcats. Able to thwart the fast break there. With all the offensive uh, weapons that Foxcroft has, it's kind of surprising that they've been held to two points so far. That. Give a ton of credit to this defense of Presque Isle and what they've been able to do and disrupt the normal flow of this Pony's offense. Richard now, the drive, pass along the baseline. Crocker, clean look for three. Five points for Caden Crocker, five points for the Ponies. He's been 100% of the offense early on, and that finally gets the Pony student section into it with 15 seconds remaining in this opening quarter, a quarter that has been dominated by Presque Isle here. Bollier takes to the rim, dump off pass, good look, good layup. One second remaining, Richard, the rim, dump off pass, good look, good layup than you would have thought. Presque Isle, they end the quarter. 18-5 advantage Wildcats. We're gonna take a break and rejoin you for the second. Sluggers Baseball and Softball Training offers a variety of classes and leagues to expose you to a wider view of the game. Sluggers leads the way in baseball and softball training with industry-leading technology such as Hit Tracks that combines a traditional batting cage experience with modern analytics, all from the virtual diamond of your favorite ballpark. Check out Sluggers today on Facebook, schedule online, or call 207-951-2250 to start your journey with the best training staff around. Excellence starts at Sluggers. Cool and stop by Kimball Insurance for all your insurance needs. Whether it be auto, home, farm, business, life, or health insurance, we have you covered. Our agents are ready to serve you and help you with your needs. Visit us at Kimball Insurance at 91 Main Street in St. Gabriel, Maine, online at KimballInsuranceAgency.com or visit us on Facebook to see what we can do for you. Kimball's, your insurance is our business. Welcome back here to Foxcroft Academy. 18-5 opening quarter advantage for the Wildcats. What a quarter it was for them. Malachi Cummings, impressive quarter in his own right. Richard to start the second quarter, off the mark, rebound, Cummings. Wildcats now electing to slow it down. Getting the offense going now. Bowley are up top, guarded by Richard. 
Take to the rim, turned away by Ivan Mudachev. Richard pull up in transition off the mark. Rebound batted, Crocker comes away with it. Off the mark. Langley, Michael Langley checks into the game, brings down that board for the Wildcats. Cummings now, that ball off his own foot and out of bounds in that situation. So it's going to be going back to the Ponies. Greenlaw checking in, replacing Bolier. Sticking with this zone defense. Crocker in the quarter. He's has 100% of the Ponies offense in this one. Great pass there, and that's going to be a goaltend. This one. Great pass there, and that's going to be a goaltend. Almost timed that up, Chris, but the ball looked like it was on the way down for, I believe that was Smith inside. It was Jackson Smith. He's going to get credit for that basket for the uh, Ponies. So that gets the scoring started in this second quarter. Pass out, clean look. Rolls around the rim and just off the mark for Costoni. And Ivan Mudachev getting active early on the interior. Done a good job. He uh, checked in late in the first quarter and he's already got a block and a rebound. And Connor and Topolsky check in to replace Smith and Richard. Tony's looking for that bench spark, Zach. That's going to be Caden Crocker bringing the ball up now for the Ponies with Jaden Richard on the on the bench, primary ball handler in most situations for this Pony squad. Good defense along the perimeter. Pass out to Connor. One more to Topolsky. Clean look at a three. Makes a three. Topolsky's proven he can make that shot. 10-18 now. 5-0 run to start this second quarter. 5-48 remaining in it. Malachi Cummings now. Off back rim, off the mark, tipped out of bound. Off of Mudachev. It's going to stay Presque Isle basketball. Jack Hallett now checking back into the game. Replacing Langley. Ball played in, that's Greenlaw with it now. Ball got away from for a moment, but able to keep the possession alive for Prescott. Screen set. Clean look up top for Costoni. 4-3. Brady Costoni. Big answer in the second quarter, Chris. It was a 5-0 run till that point. Topolsky now dribbling through the double team. Thought Mudachev might be cutting to the rim. It's a turnover. Transition opportunity for the Wildcats. Ball on the floor. A little bit of some chaos. It ends up in the hands of Malachi Cummings. No look inside for two. It ends up in the hands of Malachi Cummings. No look inside for two. Good clean look there. What a pass by Cummings. It was indeed. Crocker, that's going to be a blocking call. It was close. Hallett almost got there in time, Chris. It was kind of a bang-bang play. I just want to take a second, too, to talk about, you know, Prescott's coached by Dylan Kingsbury. What a job he's done this year to um, slowly improve this Wildcats team as the season has gone on. Yep, sitting at 9-8 and eight right now with the style of basketball they're playing. A ton of game left, but leading in this one with 431 remaining in this opening half of basketball. Cummings now, screen set by Buck. Cummings, clean look at a three. Off the mark, battle for the rebound. That's going to be off of Mudachev. Richard and Oliveira check back in, replacing Rayfield and Topolsky. Chris, I'm just so impressed with the attention to detail on offensive rebounding so far for the Wildcats. Rebounding yeah. in general, rebounding but especially general. the offensive end. Yeah, absolutely. They've uh, 
Definitely done a good job there. They've been all over the glass on both ends so far. Castoni to Cummings now. Moves to the corner, that ball tipped away, ultimately taken away by Oliveira. Eurostap throws it up and good. Taken away by Oliveira. Eurostap throws it up and he gets his scoring started in this one. Cummings kick out, Greenlaw look, off the mark, rebound Crocker. Pass out to Mudachev. Connor now. Ponies have struggled in the half court once the Wildcats get the opportunity to set up this zone defense. Not able to get the ball inside so far against the zone, Chris. It's been a lot of perimeter play as I say it. Connor diving to the rim. Thrown up. A lot of perimeter play as I say it. Connor diving to the rim. Going to go on uh, Brent Greenlaw. That's his first foul. Fourth on the Wildcats. First free throws for the Ponies tonight. With 3.24 remaining in this first half. Connor, good on the first. His first point of the ball game. Again, the Ponies have at least four or five players that at any given time during the season have been a high score for a game. So they get their offense from a lot of different weapons. They do. Connor being one of them. Going to be number 10, Wyatt Young, checking in for the Wildcats. And Brent Greenlaw went to the bench. Also, I believe Bollier checked back in. And Jaden Richard dives for that loose ball. Comes away with it. Crocker, transition opportunity, up and in for two. When the Ponies have been in transition, that's where you've seen a lot of their offense come. Malachi Cummings for two. That's his first two of this quarter. He's up to 12 now. Yep, had a very nice start. Quick math, 10 first quarter points. Really set the tone and tempo for the Wildcats offense. Mudachev in the corner, back to Connor. Wildcats still making life hard in the half court. Crocker, he thought about the three there. Pass inside to Mudachev, left hand layup, good. So you saw a better ball movement on that possession down, Chris, and good look by Richard to Mudachev inside. Beautiful pass that time by Richard. I've seen some great passing out here so far, Chris, between Cummings and that pass by Richard. A couple highlights in terms of passing the ball. Cummings guarded in the corner. A little bit of a miscommunication results in a turnover. Oliveira, Crocker, rim, layup plus the harm. Caden Crocker adds two points, chance to make it three. Chance to get into double digits for Crocker. If he can make this free throw, he'll be up to 10 points. Number 42, Langley, uh, Michael Langley checking back in for the Wildcats. Off on the free throw, but Mudachev, the offensive rebound. Jaden Richard, clean look. Strong off back iron, rebound Malachi Cummings. 25-20. 147 remaining in this first half of action. Good defense by Connor on Young. Buck inside, kick out to Bollier. Screen set. Bollier looking to get to the rim, nice pass inside. Extra pass to the wing. Good shot from three for Young. Extra pass to the wing. Good shot from three for Young. The second three of the quarter for the Wildcats. And that one thrown away. Miscommunication by the Ponies. Going to be back to the Wildcats. 114 now left in this second quarter of action. It was a nice look by Langley on that three-pointer by Young. Realized that he was being guarded closely and kicked it off to the uh, open shooter Young who knocked down the three. Richard. Good on ball defense. Comes away with the steal. Layup in transition for two. His first points of the ball game. And now foul goes against Richard. It's going to be the second on Richard, fourth on the uh, fourth on the ponies. Looks like number five, uh, 
Brent Greenlaw checking back in. It looks like Richard was for a moment going to stay in the ball game, but Rayfield now actually going to replace. Oh, Crocker was headed to the bench, but I figured it would be Richard in the end. Two first half fouls, just 53 seconds remaining, 52.8 to be exact. You don't need to pick up that third to end this first half of action. That's Greenlaw with it now. Looking inside to Buck. Cummings now. See if the Wildcats play for one shot to end the quarter, Chris, or if they get a clean look, they'll be happy to take it. Any looks, a clean look for Malachi Cummings as he knocks that one down. 14 first half points. Also want to mention we will have Terry Cummings joining us at halftime, former coach for the Wildcats. Adam Connor now, clean look at a three off the mark, controlled by Oliveira. Stuck along the baseline, gives it up to Rayfield. Fouled on the way up. Going to have a chance for two. First on Buck. Off on the first attempt for Wyatt Rayfield. Second one falls, his first points of the ball game. Cummings now, 10 seconds remaining in the half. Directing traffic. Pass to the corner, Young blocked out of bounds. Off the long arm of Oliveira. Still 2.7 on the clock, you get to drop a play here to try to end this first half of action. Cummings taking the ball out. You gotta think as soon as he gives the ball up, Young, off the mark. That's going to be the how the first half of action ends. 30 Wildcats, 23 Ponies. We're going to take it to a quick break and rejoin you for the Black Bear Crane Halftime Show. We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the MPA, are the 49,000 high school sports and performing arts students in Maine. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, debate team members, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, officials, and adjudicators. We stand for the drummers, football players, and actors. We stand for the golfers, singers, and swimmers. We stand as the national leader and advocate for these essential activities and all who participate in them and make them possible because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org. to Rouse Garage in Dover Foxtrot to discover the difference between walking into a local dealership versus a big dealer that uses high pressure tactics the second you drive onto the lot. From selling you a vehicle to servicing your vehicle, Rouse Garage will treat you like you are the only customer. While you're there, check out their state-of-the-art automatic car wash. Riles Garage, call them at 207-564-3434 or visit them at 191 East Main Street in Dover Foxcroft, Maine. Welcome back here to the Black Bear Crane Halftime Show. I'm now joined by former Wildcats head coach, Terry Cummings, also father of Malachi Cummings, who's had a eventful night so far. We're going to get into his stats a little bit later on the Black Bear Crane Halftime Show. We right now want to talk to Terry. And first of all, thank you for joining us up here in the booth. I know that your son's out there playing, so we appreciate your time up here. Yeah, thanks for having me. You guys always do a great job. I always look forward to seeing you guys. And we look forward when we have the opportunity to see you. Um, I had the opportunity to watch you as a coach, and I want to get kind of inside your mind and your thoughts as what is it like on that end, being the head coach, reflecting, and also being now in the stands as a, as a parent and as a fan? Well, this is pretty much the first time since, uh, you know, probably second grade <laughs> that I haven't coached my son. Um, so I didn't know how it was going to be, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, the first couple games this summer kind of got out of it a little bit, um, you know, got there and just was able to sit back, try to stay away as far as I could pretty much, not mm. to try to be a distraction or anything. And then now it's, you know, it's pretty simple. Now I'm having a hard time just staying glued to 
glued to the seat down there yeah. in the stands. Yeah, and that makes that, that's a good answer. That's a parent answer. <laughs> um, so we we're talking actually a little bit pregame and maybe let people know what how, what be comes a life after you know leaving coaching and how you keep yourself busy i understand you were refereeing now and what are you doing after post coaching now to keep yourself busy but also still enjoy the game of basketball that you clearly love and are connected to yeah i mean the first thing obviously was uh you know to to watch my son senior year and uh, really just try to enjoy that but then as summer rolled along and everything um you know the assigner pedro rodriguez up in arusa county you know there's only 25 officials so, you know, I started hearing, you know, we're not going to be able to play some middle school games, different things. And I said, you know, well, and if, if I can help the student athletes out, I'm going to do it. And so, uh, you know, I decided that I would do a game or two a week originally, and uh, that became quite a few more. So I've done uh, probably 60 games now. And I'm sure you do a great job, as you did when you were coaching. One thing that was always a staple of your group, and it's clearly evident out there on the court now for the Wildcats as well, but was always – the attitude and the temperament of your teams always stayed even no matter what was going on in a game as a coach what does it take to get a unit to that point and not only be a quality basketball team but also represent themselves well and their community well out there on the basketball court well so the first thing i tried to instill in 2011 which was an easy job taking over coach prescott because he did a great job before me so when i came in it was pretty much the same thing that pride hustle defense but again, it was you're representing your family first, you're representing your community, your school, and uh, you just go out there, you just play hard all the time. That's always been a staple of Wildcat basketball is, is never giving up. The ball's on the floor, you're on top of it. And at the same time, if you lose a hard-fought game, at the end of the game, you're able to shake your opponent's hand and say, hey, you got me tonight. And you can see with Coach Kingsbury, that tradition is definitely still alive and yeah. well. Um, so. I also want to get your thoughts on the game. I mean, you're, you're a coach. You know the bas game of basketball extremely well. It was a good start there for your Wildcats, but how do you think that this game has gone so far? Do you think understanding the Wildcat system, this is the way they expected the game to go, or is this their style of basketball? Well, I mean, I, you always hope that you start a game like this. I mean, you can't get any better in 14-zip, but, uh, you know, right out of the gate but especially when you're on the road. But, you know, they've won four in a row now. Um, so seem to be, could be peaking at just the right time. You never want to peak too early. Um, Coach Kingsbury has kept them, done a really good job keeping them on an even keel there. Um, but uh, right now, I, I like the way they're playing. I like the way that they're they're answering, you know, they're, they're playing pretty, pretty disciplined basketball in the first half here. And that's going to have to be the case here in the second half because, you know, Fox Ross not going to go away. They missed a lot of shots early. Um, they're going to start making some of those, so we got to make sure we execute. Yeah, they had 18 po – Pornies had 18 points in that second quarter, so maybe come to life a little bit as a coach. What do you think the Wildcats are talking about in the locker room right now following a better showing in the second quarter by the Ponies? Well, I mean, it's, you know, get a hand up on the defender, you know, close out high. I'm sure Coach Kingsbury's, you know, letting him know that. You know, he does a great job on the, on the defensive end of, of coaching the basketball. So I think, you know, and again, on that weak side, that weak side's been difficult for us. Coming out of a zone, you know, it's hard to rebound out of a zone. So you got to box out extra hard, but on those three pointers, even extra hard because you get a lot of long rebounds on the th on the three point shots. So we got to really box out hard. That's I think that's gonna what's gonna come down to it is rebounding on both ends of the floor in the second half. And the Wildcats they're winning in that quarter category right now. We're gonna talk about th about that in a moment on the Black Bear Crane halftime show. But Terry, thank you so much for coming coming up and joining us at halftime here. Always a pleasure to get to talk to you. You did a great job as a head coach. And now you get to enjoy it as a father and a parent. So. Congratulations for that. Malachi's having a great senior year. He's doing a great job. And uh, thank you for joining us up here in the booth. Thank We're you very much for having me, guys. Of course. We're going to send it to a quick break and rejoin you in a moment. Brothers Meats is a family-owned and operated business located in Guilford, Maine. We operate a local retail meat market along with a slaughterhouse, smokehouse, and processing plants. Herring Brothers has all sorts of meats from already pre-cut all the way to cutting it right on the spot for you. Also, while you're there, don't forget to try their wicked good beef jerky that is made right in Guilford, Maine. Call them at 207-876-4395 or visit them at 346 Water Street Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Go and stop by Kimball Insurance for all your insurance needs. Whether it be auto, home, farm, business, life, or health insurance, we have you covered. Our agents are ready to serve you and help you with your needs. Visit us at Kimball Insurance at 91 Main Street in Sangerville, Maine online at KimballInsuranceAgency.com 
or visit us on Facebook to see what we can do for you. Kimball's, your insurance is our business. Welcome back here to the Black Bear Crane Halftime Show. I want to thank Terry Cummings for spending some time with us at halftime. Um, at this time, we do want to also thank some of the sponsors who have helped make these broadcasts free and available for everyone at home. Yeah, Black Bear Crane is a family-owned and operated crane and rigged service provider located in Herman, covering the state of Maine, with cranes from 27 to 240 tons. From roof trusses, HVAC units, steel and precast direction, to modular home and communications equipment, call 977-BEAR today. If you need a vehicle, contact Sonny, Sean, Brian, or Ryan at Hartley's. Easy financing available, great selection of new and used. Call 207-368-5751. Our replay sponsor is Maine Mapping Company. Main Mapping Company provides all your land surveying and mapping needs throughout the state of Maine. Centrally located in Dexter, Main Mapping provides boundary, topographic, and aerial surveys, as well as construction survey services statewide. Visit us at www.mainmappingco.com or check out our Facebook page to get more information or request a quote. And there you have it, Chris. While we are in the final minute of this halftime, let's kind of run down some of the first half stats there. Yeah, I had uh, Prescott winning the rebound battle 13-8. Uh, to eight. Prescott shot one of two from the free throw line. Foxcroft was three for five from the line. Malachi Cummings led the way for Prescott. 14 points, five rebounds, and two steals in that first half. And Caden Crocker with nine for the Ponies. And there you have it, some of those first half stats. 18-12 to 12 advantage in the second quarter for the Ponies but it's really that first quarter of action that's dictated the tempo of this game. Wildcats came out 14-0 to start the game. They won that first quarter 18-5, and that's got us to where we're at now. 23 ponies, 30 Wildcats. And Chris, we mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, this isn't necessarily a massive heel point game that's going to decide stats one way or the other and matchups one way or the other, but... It's momentum, it's energy, it's it's positive energy heading in to the cross center or playoffs in general as these two teams are going to be having prelim games. Absolutely. So, yeah, this is a big second half for both teams. Definitely want to have that momentum going into prelim games next week. And Bollier, he's going to get it started for the Wildcats. Cummings from the corner, three off the mark. Rebound, Oliveira. Brought down by Jaden Richard. To Crocker, back out to Connor. The zone gave a lot of problems for this Ponies offense in that first half, but Jaden Richard able to get to the rim right there, floated up for two points. I think this is the second time Foxcroft's uh, got the lead down to five. Let's see if they can chip into it a little bit more here. Now Cummings, he might have something to say about that, but fouled on the jump shot. Malachi Cummings, 14 points and counting. Cummings was instrumental, of course, in the win over Caribou for these uh, Wildcats. He had uh, 23 points and 8 rebounds in that win over the Vikings. That free throw off the mark. One more coming, but so far 2 of 3 on the night. Why, uh, 1 of 3, I meant to say. Now 2 of 4, rather. That's 50%, Zach. The quick math there, Chris. But 15 points. And 15 big ones in this game so far. Pony's still trying to contend with this press. Well, pressure, I should say, in the zone. And that rebound brought down by Buck. Cummings now. Bollier. Greenlaw now. Willing to slow things down are the Wildcats here to start this second half. Work for a good shot, quality shot. Running the same set again here. Opposite side, trying to get Cummings open, it appears. Pass to the corner, that's Hallett. Nice pass inside. Off the mark, rebound, blocked. Good extra effort there by Buck. Pair of offensive rebounds going to be rewarded with a chance at two from the free throw line. Good job blocking that first shot by Crocker, but uh, nice job 
by Buck, staying with it, getting his rebound, going right back up with it, getting two foul shots. First attempt from the line, off back iron, off the mark. 25-31 advantage Wildcats, 6-21 remaining in this third quarter. Second from the line is good. Bucks now got five on the game. Richard, Connor in the corner. Crocker thought about the three for a moment there. Ultimately dumped it off to Connor who stepped out of bounds going the other way. The zone has been impressive tonight, Chris, but the most impressive part has been the guard play on the perimeter. Just being able to take away so many of the ponies' weapons along that perimeter while also not making life easy inside. Cummings, corner. Three is good. Such a pretty shot from Malachi Cummings. That ball tipped away from behind. Richard, he kept with it. The ball's on the floor. Timeout taken by Coach Kingsbury and the Wildcats. We're going to take it with them and rejoin you in a moment. Ames Chiropractic Wellness Center is a practice that specializes in treating a variety of different conditions. We treat patients daily who suffer from chronic lower back and neck pain, headaches, repetitive stress disorders, work injuries, sports injuries, and more. Dr. Rick and our entire team at Ames Chiropractic are excited to welcome you to our brand new Bangor office located at 43 Longview Drive right behind Olive Garden. Ames Chiropractic Wellness Center, helping you to naturally feel and be your very best. Thank you very much. Welcome back here. Following the timeout taken, kind of a don't turn the ball over, or jump ball situation timeout there, Chris. Yeah, good call by Kingsbury. Saw that his guy had control of the ball and before he got tied up, he called the timeout. Lead now back up to 10. Pony's got it down to as low as five. Cummings had to adjust midair on that shot. Pony's got it down to as low as five. Cummings had to adjust. Malachi Cummings. With 5.13 remaining in the third quarter. Yeah, a lot of time left. Crocker to Richard. Richard knifing to the rim off the mark. Rebound, Buck. Buck's done a nice job on the glass this quarter. He's got four rebounds in the first three minutes here. He's been impressive. Coach Terry Cummings, former Coach Terry Cummings, mentioned that as a point of emphasis. Off the mark on the three-point attempt by Greenlaw. That's Buck again on the rebound. And Richard, a little too much contact with Cummings. Slow to get up, Malachi Cummings. Might have collided knees there, Chris. Not something you ever want to see. An athletic trainer here at Foxcroft Academy, Jack Terrellot, you know she's going to do a great job over there. Did ultimately leave the court under his own power. I believe that, yeah, and I believe Brady Costoni is the one that checked in for Cummings for the time being while they check him out. Now Bollier, pass over to Greenlaw. Castoni, clean look, makes a look. Second three of the game for Brady Castoni. Right off the bench. Clutch shot there by Castoni. That it was, Rayfield to Topolsky. Crocker, didn't quite have his feet set, doesn't matter. Double digits now for Crocker, he's up to 12. He's been a bright spot for this Pony's offense so far tonight. Pass to the corner, blocked by Jackson Smith at the rim. Rayfield to Crocker, back to Rayfield. Crocker calling for it, wants a three. Off the mark, rebound, guess who? Jack Buck brings down another one. Six rebounds this quarter, he's been uh, ferocious on the glass. Dominating the glass, which is the overall theme of the game so far, Chris, Wildcats. Very active on the boards. Gastoni knocked down a three a couple moments ago. That's going to be a foul against Topolsky. As you heard Terry Cummings say, it ultimately might be what wins the game is 
whoever can get that rebounding edge. And Mal right now, especially this quarter. Malachi Cummings returning to the game. He's coming back in. Yep. Does he like to play basketball or what? Likes to play basketball. He's a basketball player, that's for sure. That he is. Very good one at that, having a great game. Like to see him return. Oliveira blocks the shot of Buck on the way up. Rayfield to Crocker in transition. Extra pass to the corner. Great transition defense by this Wildcats team. Rayfield to Topolsky. Cummings was there, lying in wait for that extra pass. A lot of ball movement, but not a lot of action inside in the post, Chris. It's been forced on the perimeter. Costoni now. Passes off the layup to Cummings. Rebound, Oliveira now in transition. All the way to the rim. Fouled on the way up against Costoni. Going to be two from the line. Chance for Oliveira. Oliveira, two points on the night so far. First one, front rim off the mark. Returning now, Brent Greenlaw. Placing Bollier. Second shot now for Oliveira. Rolls in and out. Rebound, Malachi Cummings. Cummings now, crossover dribble to the rim for two. Cummings now, crossover dribble to the rim for two. Effortless offensively. Oliveira now. Thought about shot at the rim, ended up passing it off. Now Cummings in transition again. A lot of contact, headed back to the line. First one good for Cummings. Adding to an impressive night. 23 points so far for Malachi Cummings as Oliveira checks out. Second from the line. Rolls in and out. Jack Buck, the offensive rebound. He's fouled on the way up. Rolls in and out. Jack Buck, the offensive rebound. He's fouled on the way up. You saw the foul again there, courtesy of Main Mapping Company on the replay. And Chris, it just feels like a difference in effort and intensity on the glass so far tonight. Good on the first is Buck. Certainly does. I got Buck down for, let's see, five, six points and ten rebounds. Seven of those rebounds this quarter. Buck off on the second, but Malachi Cummings, another offensive rebound for the Wildcats. Gives it up to Greenlaw. Castoni now. Cummings approaching double-double territory. And the way the rebounding advantage has favored the Wildcats, he very well might get there. Has it now. Smith on him. Goes baseline. Reverse. Has it now. Smith on him. Goes baseline. Reverse. Malachi Cummings. What can't he do offensively so far this game, Chris? He's putting on a show, that's for sure. That was definitely a showman-type play, and one he can definitely make. Great shot there by Malachi Cummings. Almost came up with a steal. Topolsky does get a look from three out of it. Off the mark. Knocked out of play off of Hallett. It's going to stay pony ball. 28-46 our score with 119 remaining. So 5 6 to 16 advantage this quarter for the Wildcats. Almost an exact repeat of that opening quarter, Chris. Crocker pulls up from deep, makes it. Second three this quarter for Caden Crocker, who's up to 15 points for the Ponies. It's really been Caden Crocker on offense and trying to work it around outside of that. 
Buck on the inside, kick out, Cummings, three. When you've got it going, you've got it going. Cummings with 14 this quarter. Matching his 14 from the first half. Quick math, that's 28 on the game. Pass inside to Henderson. Shot fake initially, off the mark. Gets his own miss. Kick out, Chase, Crocker. Off the mark. Gonna have a foul inside. Against, see if that one's against Buck, I believe, on the interior. It's gonna be his second of the game with 25 seconds remaining on the clock. Kicked out, Crocker, clean look at a three. Off the mark. Feet got tangled right there. Two players on the floor, but Malachi Cummings comes away with it. Bringing things down for the Wildcats. Double team comes. Back out to Cummings. Behind the back. Kick. Corner. Young. Thought about it. Greenlaw, one second on the clock. Pulls up. Off back iron. Off the mark. That's going to be how the third quarter ends. 49 Wildcats, 31 Ponies will rejoin you in a moment for the fourth quarter. We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the MPA, are the 49,000 high school sports and performing arts students in Maine. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, debate team members, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, officials, and adjudicators. We stand for the drummers, football players, and actors. We stand for the golfers, singers, and swimmers. We stand as the national leader and advocate for these essential activities and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of action here at Foxcroft Academy. Wildcats, they lead 49-31. That was a dominant third quarter of action we saw there, Chris. Certainly was, Malachi. Oh, oh, what a oh pass. nice look inside. Pass into Chase there. Richard, he's had a couple nice passes. But this Wildcats defense has made it hard to find opportunities like that. Yeah, as I was saying, what a dominant third quarter for Malachi coming. 14 in the first half. He had 14 alone in that third quarter. 28 on the game. Great performance by him so far. Also, maybe not going to get that same level as you see Malachi Cummings take and make another three. 31 big ones. What a performance we're seeing. Crocker trying to match. He's having a nice game himself. 15 for the Ponies. But Malachi Cummings just been the difference maker in this one. Pass out. Greenlaw. Clean look. Three. Time out taken by Coach Toby Nelson. We're going to take it with him and rejoin you in a moment. Slugger's baseball and softball training offers a variety of classes and leagues to expose you to a wider view of the game. Slugger's leads the way in baseball and softball training with industry-leading technology such as hit tracks that combines a traditional batting cage experience with modern analytics, all from the virtual diamond of your favorite ballpark. Check out Slugger's today on Facebook, schedule online, or call 207-951-2250 to start your journey with the best training staff around. Excellence starts at Slugger's. All across New England, business owners are finding new ways to succeed. Families are working hard to provide for their loved ones and their future. It's the spirit of New Englanders that inspires all of us to do more. It's in our employees, our customers, and our communities. Every day we do more. Because at Bangor Savings Bank, we truly believe you matter more. Welcome back here. Both sides came out a little early from the timeout there. You didn't miss anything as it was just a foul on the floor. As they've kind of done all night, Prescott, uh, 
responding. Foxcroft gets the first two of this quarter, and Prescott comes right back with six straight. You can feel the wind kind of taken out of the sails of the ponies in this one. Richard, he goes to the rim, gets a nice look at two. I think he heard you there, Zach. He did. Malachi Cummings. Pass over to Greenlaw. Looking inside, that's Buck, who's had a nice night as well. Chris, nice pass inside. Fouled at the basket is Langley. Going to have a chance for two from the line. We keep bringing up Malachi Cummings as the 31 points is deservingly so, but players like Buck and Costoni and Greenlaw have been so active all over the floor yeah, tonight. It is those role players that we kind of spoke about a little bit in the pregame uh, that makes this Prescott team go. That this shot. Is a, this is a Prescott team that looks like they're going to end the regular season with a five-game winning streak. And Coach, they were five and eight after 13 games. Now they might finish 10 and eight. Former coach Terry Cummings said that they might be hitting their stride right at the right moment. And if this scores any indication, is Malachi Cummings another offensive rebound going back to the free throw line? That's a double double, by the way, from Malachi Cummings. He has, uh, let's see, 20, 20, 31 points and 10 rebounds now. 6.06 remaining as it's now 32 on the night for Malachi Cummings. 6.06 remaining in the game. Near to over 20 point advantage now if it stays this way as Malachi Cummings adds another one. Malachi Cummings definitely in contention and probably the leading candidate for the Bangor Savings Bank player of the game. Richard DeConnor for three. Pony's trying to breathe life back into this ball game. Foul on the far side there. That one, see who they put that up against. That's against Crocker, just his first of the ball game, but the Ponies, ninth team foul. That's going to send Malachi Cummings to the line for a one-on-one -on -one situation. The rest of the way out will be two free throws for the Wildcats. Cummings, good on the first. That's 34 on the night. Six out of nine from the free throw line for Cummings. Good on the second. 35 and counting for Malachi Cummings. Jaden Richard, the drive, kick to the corner. Good defense there by Greenlaw. And it's been this zone defense, time after time, stepping up in a big way for this Wildcats team. Oliveira, nice vision by him, steps in front of the pass, all the way to the rim, nice layup up and in for two. Ponies, they're coming out now with some pressure. Skip pass, Cummings. He's in rhythm, takes a three, rolls in and out. That was a little bit of a heat check moment there, Chris. Caden Crocker, nice dump off pass. Oliveira off the mark. Follows his own miss, going to be headed to the line. Chance at two. Oliveira a little slow, headed back to the free throw line there. Bowlier is set to check back in for the Wildcats. Smith, Rayfield, and Mudichev for the Ponies. First free throw off back iron off the mark for Oliveira. Smith stays at the scorer's table as he's going to be checking in for Oliveira. Next opportunity. Second one from the line, good. Ponies coming out in full court pressure here with 4.54 remaining in the fourth quarter here, Chris. Bollier able to get through it. And foul from behind. That's going to go against Richard. It's going to send Bollier to the line for two free throws here, Chris. So 
be Dawson Bollier's first opportunity at points tonight from the free throw line at least, and good on the first. I believe that's his first point of the game, actually. Off on the second, Mudachev came down with the rebound. Almost lost it for a moment, and that one, bullet pass through the hands of Rayfield on the far side there. Timeout taken by Coach Kingsbury and the Wildcats. We're going to keep it here, and Chris is going to let you know about some of the sponsors who have helped make these broadcasts free and available. Yeah, Black Bear Cream is a family-owned and operated crane and rigging service provider located in Herman, covering the state of Maine, with cranes from 27 to 240 tons, some roof trusses, HVAC units, steel and precast direction to modular home and communications equipment. Call 977-BEAR today. If you need a vehicle, contact Sonny, Sean, Brian, and Ryan at Hartley's. Easy financing, available, great selection of new and used. Call 207-368-5751. We also want to uh, thank uh, Maine Mapping Company, who is our replay sponsor. Maine Mapping Company provides all your survey, surveying and mapping needs throughout the state of Maine, centrally located in Dexter. Maine Mapping provides boundary, topographic, and aerial surveys, as well as construction survey services statewide. Visit us at www.mainmappingco.com or check out our Facebook page to get more information or request a quote. There you have it. Thank you to all those sponsors. Welcome back to the action here. Ponies, they're going to stay in this full court pressure, but with it being a man-to-man, -man, you can kind of just clear out and let Bollier take the ball up on his own, Chris. And that's what the Wildcats did, but extra pressure. Richard, he comes away with it. Layup up and in. Extra pressure. Malachi Cummings now trying to deal, getting through it. Gets it to Bollier. That's always a good idea. Does a great job at the guard position for this Wildcats team. Took it baseline. Nice find. That's Hallett at the rim off the mark. Guess who? Jack Buck. Fine, that's Hallett at the rim off the mark. Guess who? Not Joe Buck, but Jack Buck. Richard now caught along the baseline, able to get that pass off. Jackson Smith up and in for two. Now on the far side, that's Bollier. To Hallett. Cummings now. Bollier has it. Crocker the steal now. Crocker in transition, throws it up. That's going to be a blocking call. Goes against Malachi Cummings. Job not giving up here, and Pony's uh, forced a few turnovers here. Crocker, good on his first attempt. Topolsky checks in. He's going to replace Jaden Richard. It might do it for his night here. Also set to check in. Next opportunity is Henderson going to be replacing Crocker from the free throws here. Crocker good on the second, so he's going to check out. See if that does it for his night with just 3.15 remaining. 15-point ball game, couple steers, steals here or there. You never know what can happen. But the Wildcats, if they hold on to this one, be a complete victory for them. Ponies will have never led in this one, Chris. Yeah, I've been impressed, obviously, with Malachi Cummings, but as we mentioned, how many players have done different things, the small things even, to help. Uh, catapult this win for the Wildcats. Buck off the mark there on the layup attempt. And stick around at the conclusion of this one. Not only will we have the post-game show with our Bangor Savings Bank player of the game, but we're also going to have the varsity action on the girls' side immediately following the conclusion of this broadcast. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube page and you can stay up to date with that game that will be immediately following. Kicked out to the corner now. Malachi Cummings. See if he can put the explanation, uh, exclamation mark, I should say, on an already incredible night from him. 
Now approaching 2.15 remaining in this fourth quarter of action. Keep in mind, this is the conclusion to the regular season today. Unofficially, Chris, but more than likely, the girls' game will be the final game played in the regular season across the state. Nice pass! Cummings to Buck off the mark! Cummings, board two. Cummings, nine points in this fourth quarter, Chris. He's got 37 on the game. 37 points, that's not a bad night. It's not a bad night indeed to Polsky. Nice three, adds to his night. He had a three in the second quarter as well. 130 remaining here in this one. Safer to say at this point, Chris, that the Wildcats are gonna come out with the win tonight. That ball tipped away for a moment though. Malachi Cummings on the floor. Coach Kingsbury is gonna take a timeout. We're going to keep it here. There's just one 119 remaining in this one, Chris. I think it's pretty safe to say with Malachi Cummings, the performance he had tonight, so far 37 points and counting, he'll be our Bangor Savings Bank player of the game. Yeah, absolutely. There's not much question there. Uh, as I was mentioning, though, there's, you know, even some of the smaller things that some of the other players absolutely. have done. The steals, the rebounds. I mean, I got uh, Jack Buck for artificially... 13 rebounds. And, He's yeah. only scored 8 points, but 13 boards. And th those are stats that show up in our books, but if you look out there on the court, it's been this zone pressure from the Wildcats that maybe isn't showing up in the stat sheet. Been a ton of players impacting the game. Yeah, definitely a, a well-rounded victory other than the, you know, the 37 from Malachi Cummings, but so many players have done many good things here tonight for the Wildcats. Kapolsky, good defense up on Bolier. Ponies, they're not going to stop playing to the final buzzer here, nor should they. You definitely want to hit that momentum heading into the tournament. The Wildcats have done a good job of doing that today. A lot of contact at the rim. Glad to see everybody make it up from that in one piece. With just 56 seconds remaining, we'd like to see both sides remain unscathed in this one. Good take by Cummings. He's going to have a chance to add to his night. Approaching 40 points, Chris. Yeah, and it looks like Coach Kingsbury is going to empty his bench. That's 38 on the game. And Cummings is going to stay in the ball game as there's no one remaining at the scorer's table. But big shout out to some of the starters there. Jack Buck, Greenlaw, Bollier, Young. You can go down the list of impact players. 39 and 11 rebounds. With 50 seconds to play, we might see the 40 spot here. Henderson inside, off the mark. And timeout taken just to get the substitution in here for Langley. As Malachi Cummings exits the ball game, 39 points. 39 of the team 66 in this one, but it was a team victory. Great performance all over the place. Pony's going to stay with this full court pressure. Approaching a 10 second violation and there it is. Ball back to the Ponies now. Read some of the names that have newly checked into the ball game. You have Boone, you have Mosher. Langley Rayfield makes a three there for the Ponies. Trying to get through these names to end this one. Turner into the ball game. But that ball stolen by Jackson Smith. Tries to throw that one down at the rim. It sneaks its way in. Ball stolen by Jackson Smith. Tries to throw that one down at the rim. Coming at the other end now. Opportunity. Boy, this, this final score is going to look a lot closer than really what the game was. Yeah, it was Wilson, he's going to head to the free throw line. Going to have a chance at two here. In a moment, my broadcast partner, Chris, he's going to head on down, and we're going to try to grab Malachi Cummings and possibly Coach Kingsbury as well. We're going to take a brief break at the conclusion of this one and rejoin you for the Bangor Savings Bank postgame show. As Wilson, second from the line, good. So he gets into the scoring of book for tonight. 67-55. Five seconds remaining. Trap in the corner. Wilson, the steal. 
My bar broadcast partner Chris Lesnar is going to make his way down now with 3.1 remaining. Stick around, folks. We'll have a conversation with Malachi Cummings. And we thank you for joining us on this one. Keep in mind, girls game going to be coming immediately after this one. Off the mark on the attempt. That's going to do it. 67-55. Wildcats win. We're going to take a break and rejoin you in a moment. All across New England, business owners are finding new ways to succeed. Families are working hard to provide for their loved ones and their future. It's the spirit of New Englanders that inspires all of us to do more. It's in our employees, our customers, and our communities. Every day we do more. Because at Bangor Savings Bank, we truly believe you matter more. and stop by Kimball Insurance for all your insurance needs. Whether it be auto, home, farm, business, life, or health insurance, we have you covered. Our agents are ready to serve you and help you with your needs. Visit us at Kimball Insurance at 91 Main Street in Sangerville, Maine, online at KimballInsuranceAgency.com, or visit us on Facebook to see what we can do for you. Kimball's, your insurance is our business. Welcome back here to Foxcroft Academy. Thank you for joining us on the Bangor Savings Bank post-game show as Malachi Cummings makes his way up to the booth here. Hi, Malachi. Thank you for joining us. Zach White here up at Eastern Maine Sports. You are our Bangor Savings Bank player of the game in what was an impressive wire-to-wire -wire victory for your ball club. Let's talk about your performance, though. You had 39 points in this one. At what point in this ball game did you know you had it going? I mean, just after the first couple mid-range kept falling, and I got to the lane a couple of times, my teammates were helping get me open, setting screens up front. You know, it just, just once, once those first couple shots go in, you know, you can get it going after that. And you guys started the ball game on an impressive run. I believe it was 14 nothing at one point early on there. Um, the defense was really the catalyst early on and throughout the ball game. What were you guys seeing defensively, and what specifically were you doing defensively that you were taking advantage of out there? I just think it's that high intensity ball pressure. Like we need to get up once we get up in their face, you know, get them rushing, and they turn the ball over more because you know they they, they look around, they all our hands are just up. We got we got a tall team, we got a big team. You know, they just look up and they see all our hands and they don't know where to go with it. And the final regular season game as you guys head into a prelim and hopefully on your end across center push and a tournament experience where do you think a wire to wire win against a quality ponies team has you guys feeling momentum wise you know i mean we're five and oh in our last five games so we're feeling pretty good momentum wise but we still have a lot to work on we can improve on everything i mean offensive rebounding we do better on that and but i mean it's feeling good we got that momentum and I, I think we're ready to make a run. Well, congratulations, Malachi Cummings. Once again, our Bangor Savings Bank player of the game. You can pass the head headset off to Coach Kingsbury. Nice and sweaty now, I'm sure. Yeah, wipe off that headset there. I'm sure it's nice and sweaty for you there, Coach. Coach Kingsbury, number one, thank you for joining us after that one. And uh, wire-to-wire -wire victory for you guys. You had your team out there firing right from Jump Street. 14-0 run in that first quarter. What was the game plan coming in against a quality Ponies team that you guys clearly executed so well? Yeah, no, the Foxcroft's a great team. We know it's never, never an easy place to play down here. Um, it's never easy to go on the road in the Big East and, and, and win. And, you know, I, those guys, they're, they're, they're playing great. That's all on them. I mean, our, there was no big elaborate game plan. Um, our guys just, they played they play great. And all, the, all the credit goes to them. Uh, they came here, showed up, got the job done. They did indeed. Final game of the regular season. You guys finished the season 10-8. and eight. Good year. And not done yet, though. Not, not even close for you guys, and that's the hope and aspirations on your side. But where do you think a win like this, I asked Malachi this a moment ago, team-wise, morale-wise, that's five in a row now. And coming in here wire-to-wire, -wire, quality victory, where do you feel like that has you guys momentum-wise and the morale of the team right now? Uh, it's great, you know. We we played really well the, down the stretch. Seems like each game we're getting a little better. And you know what? To be honest, I was interested to see how we played tonight. Where we were locked in the seven seed, uh, didn't matter what happened. Uh, Foxcroft had a little bit more to play for. Sometimes teams see that and they go, "Well, you, you know, it's not really much." But that didn't phase us one bit. Uh, we're playing for ourselves and playing to get better. And 
you know, I, I really like the way we're doing things down the stretch. Yeah, and I, I have to bring up Malachi's performance, but you had a number of athletes out there making plays. Uh, Buck was phenomenal on the glass tonight, making a lot of plays. Costoni, Greenlaw all shot the ball very well. But Malachi had 39 points. I mean, what a year in performance by him. How do you think his leadership and when he can go out there and score 39 points in a basketball game, kind of talk about his performance and where that puts you guys when you have an athlete like that. It's, you know, it's, it's trust. Um, see it more and more late in the season. Uh, he trusts his teammates to make shots. And I think you're starting to see his teammates trust him to make the right decisions. And when, and when he's the catalyst and making good decisions and trusting his teammates, we're, we're a pretty good team. And like you said, uh, the Brady Castonis and the Jack Bucks and the Jack Hallets, they have done nothing but play their role to perfection. And their role is just as important as Malachi's 39. A couple threes Brady hits. Uh, the couple big putbacks Jack Buck and Jack Hallett cleaning up the glass, just as important as the 39. And they're all kind of starting to buy, buy into that. And I'm extremely proud of them for that. As you should be, Coach. You have your group playing very well right now. We're going to let you go rejoin your team. And we got to get back to this action here as it's doubleheader day. But thank you so much, Coach, for joining us. Best of luck to your group moving forward, prelim and playoffs. And we're going to sign off here from Eastern Main Sports. Stick around. Girls